Having trouble on offense in Madden 24? Whether you can't score enough points, where you going? Or you have too many turnovers, no, God! this is the video for you. So if you want to see 12 tips, tricks, and cheats for better offense, break yourself, fool! So long, suckers! Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. And if you want more help, tips, or money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly, simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hand comment. Offense is all about scoring points, so for my first tip, I'm going to start off with special teams, as there are multiple advantages to kicking field goals that not everyone is aware of. First off, I'm going to go over a trick for better distance on long field goal attempts. When kicking field goals, you obviously want to let the kick meter fill to the top for max power, but if you want max distance, you also have to change the trajectory of the kick by pulling the left stick down towards you and it will allow you to get a few more yards of distance as you are now kicking the ball at a lower trajectory. One issue you can have while kicking is going too high on the kick power meter as anything that goes over 100% line will have a negative effect by making the meter come back down faster when timing for the accuracy at the bottom. For shorter kicks and extra points the easiest way to improve your accuracy is to only let the meter fill up about halfway to the light blue level and short the kick meter so that it will come back down to the accuracy meter much slower to improve your accuracy more consistently when trying to make short kicks. Next up, I'll go over several ways to reduce turnovers, as having possession of the ball by limiting turnovers is very important to maintaining offense and winning games, starting with limiting or reducing fumbles. The first trick is very simple that you can do at any time in the game through your coaching adjustments. To access your coaching adjustments, simply push in the R3 button or the right stick, and it'll bring up four options, most of which I don't find very helpful, but the last one is a cheat code in ball carrier. If you have a lot of fumbles, especially when running with quarterbacks, receivers, or any non-running back really, you might notice that they fumble a lot and this is by design but you can turn these fumbles off or at least significantly reduce them on your entire team simply by putting the ball carrier on conservative any point throughout the game you still might have some fumbles but you'll notice that it's much more rare especially when running with the quarterback who fumbles the most if you don't have this setting on and you take off with the quarterback, you can still slide before contact by hitting the X or square button twice, whether on Xbox or PlayStation, and your quarterback will slide safely without getting hit or fumbling. Just make sure that you do it with a couple yards of space, or you can still trigger a tackle animation and a fumble could occur. My next tip is more for running backs, but you can use this for anyone who carries the football. If you're the type of player that tries to get a bunch of highlight reel runs and fights for every yard, you might also notice that you get more fumbles. This is due to things like stamina loss which makes it more likely to fumble so to me it's best to always run for the sideline and if you watch any of my gameplays you'll notice that I always run towards the sideline and usually out of bounds when contact is inevitable this is by design as a fumble near the sideline will almost always fall harmlessly to the ground out of bounds taking away any risk of a turnover even if your ball carrier fumbles so get in the habit of trying to meet the sideline whenever you meet a defender who's in the open field trying to tackle you Another way to limit turnovers is to safe catch, which serves multiple purposes, but can also significantly reduce turnovers in both fumbles and interceptions thrown. As pressing the A or X button, whether on Xbox or PlayStation when throwing at a target will trigger a safe catch when anyone is over the middle of the field, meaning the receiver will drop down and try to shield the ball with his body away from any oncoming defenders who might look to knock it loose, which can trigger anything from an incomplete pass to a fumble or even an interception if the ball goes up in the air. Safe catching can also trigger things like toe tap animations when close to the sideline, which is critical to extending the play when throwing close to out of bounds areas. So get in the habit of using this catch function the most. You can also rack catch by pressing the X or square button, whether on Xbox or PlayStation once again, and this function will force the receiver to accelerate through the catch so they can get bigger catch and runs, but it could also help with tracking deep balls. As all you have to do with any of these catch functions is spam the button repeatedly to take away the timing required to make the catch, but the rack catch button can also replace the sprint function as well when trying to catch deep passes as it will allow you to accelerate towards the ball the same way. 
Next up, before I get into the passing, I'm going to go over some running cheats, starting with the tight ends glitch. As EA has made several patches over the course of Madden 24 that tight ends are designed to exploit. When Madden 24 came out, it also had a new overpowered feature called Read and React Defenders, where defenders would start to notice run plays and react to them faster the more you ran them. It's a good feature, but it was too overpowered, as players were shutting down run plays from small defenses like Dollar and Nickel all game. So to try to balance this out, EA changed the personnel requirement on defense to have this activated. So now the defense has to have the same amount of linebackers and defensive linemen on the field as offensive linemen and tight ends. So if you want to turn this off when on offense, you really only have to pack your offense with a few tight ends. Since the offense already has more offensive linemen than the defense has defensive linemen already anyway. In fact, all you really need to do is have three tight ends on the field and there's not a lot of defenses that can match that as the 4-3 and 3-4 base defenses only have seven. So if you have three tight ends on the field with five linemen, you have a total of eight, which is more than both base defenses have. So feel free to run three tight end sets or even put tight ends at fullback and receiver to turn this feature off completely for your opponent the entire game. The last and most recent patch made blocking tight ends even more powerful when it comes to running and passing, as tight ends and linemen cost fatigue penalties now when blocking any defensive backs or even small defenders that they outweigh by 90 or more pounds. So going big is the way for multiple reasons, as this fatigue penalty will have your entire defense red in just a few plays. The best move to make tacklers miss is the juke move, which is performed by hitting the right stick in either direction. This move is best when the defender is parallel or even with the defender, as this will create the most space and it is also best to hold the left trigger while doing so as this will create a bigger and quicker reaction. But if the defender is in front of you, the best running move to make is the dead leg by pressing down or back on the right stick, which will make the running back completely stop and allow you to immediately change direction by hitting the right stick to the left or right once again, making this one of the best moves in the open field. Next up, I'm gonna go over some passing tips. I recently made an entire video, however, going over everything you need to know about passing. So if you guys want more help on this subject, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I'm going to be starting with something that you can change in the settings found on your home screen. If you are new to Madden 24 or Next Gen, you probably notice that there are several new passing types that the game even makes you choose before the game starts. If you're still using classic passing though, you will notice that it's pretty limited and it is far better to use one of the placement passing types for more control and ball placement. But which one is best to use? If this is all new to you, the best entry level type is placement and power, as this function really only allows you to access the freeform passing reticle, which is key when it comes to making certain passes. While placement and accuracy can lead to a lot of poorly thrown balls due to the accuracy meter also being required for this to work. It is definitely helpful to have both when you master it, but a good first step is to just start off with placement and power until you get used to the freeform passing reticle function first. My next tip is probably the most important, and that has to do with blocking. As you can't complete any passes without it, the best pass protection tool is the slide protection. If you notice that the heat is getting in too quickly, try pressing the LB or L1 button, whether on Xbox or PlayStation, and then hit the right stick to the left or right, and it will change direction of the blocking structure of the lineman, and any blocking running backs or tight ends, often making blocking much better than the default pass blocking settings. You can also do things like add blockers, whether it be the running back or the tight end, but if your opponent is running man or blitzes, this will often work against you multiple ways, as the defender who is manned to the receiver will recognize that and turn to a deep zone defender, often disrupting the play in other ways while the pressure still gets in fast, giving them the best of both worlds. But there is a way to flip this on his head, and that is to simply check and release these additional blockers instead of blocking them, as this will block any incoming defenders before releasing on a route that will also hold the defender responsible to that man in coverage throughout the entire play. Just remember that these blocks are designed to eventually release and run patterns, so you still have to make a quick decision. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos I made like this on previous topics like passing or defense, I'll have them popping up. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.